Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back. This is definitely one of my most popular series, but I am doing the top 10 Android apps of February for 2019. So I thought I'd change the video up a little bit because it's kind of hard to see sometimes what I'm doing on my phone and overall it would be easier for me and for you guys if I just were to screen record and then show it on the screen. Not sure if it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so this is my home screen. I'm going to place it about here in the video. Um, so I've changed my Nova setup a little bit. I've actually got this sort of like whole new theme going on, which I'll do a video about in the future. Also, if you want the wallpaper link, it will be down below in the description. However, the wallpaper app of choice is going to be one of the top 10 apps. So let's go ahead and crack on into it. First app up on my list is called History. So History is actually a really minimalistic material design map that shows how history went out. So you can go ahead and scroll through in terms of like a timeline and you can go ahead and view all of the different events that happened in different points of history. And then you can go ahead and click on events and scroll through. It will tell you when it happened and it will give you a little bit of information about the event. You can also go ahead and like it. But overall the app is just really fluid and the animations and overall the graphics are really nice and pleasing to look at. Obviously it doesn't have all the information in the world in it right now, but it has quite a lot to look at and I'm sure it will be growing with updates. But overall I think it's just pretty nice to look at and it's especially fun if you like learning about history, you want something quite minimal, never really seen an option that's as good as this. So I would highly recommend checking it out. They have a bunch of stuff on different life forms as well as like the universe, things like that. So if you're really into science, this is a must have. Okay, so up next is Pigeon. So I found this one the other day and it's actually really handy. So if you ever copy something on your phone, like a big link or code, and you have to go ahead and type out on your computer, this can actually save you a whole bunch of time. So all you do is install the app, you log into Google, and then you go ahead on your laptop, and then you add a Chrome extension, which is the Pigeon extension. So it links them both together. And then once you go ahead and say type something, so, hey, this is a test. You can go ahead and copy it. Now, once you've copied it, go ahead on your laptop, you do control V or just click paste and it will paste what you just copied on your smartphone. Now the app up next is called AMOLED Walls. So this one actually has a bunch of minimalistic wallpapers designed for AMOLED devices. So obviously there's going to be a lot of blacks, lots of dark, highly contrasted wallpapers, which look incredibly good on my S9 Plus. Now, if you don't have an AMOLED display, it's still going to look good, but it's not going to save you battery life, and it's not going to contrast as much as it would on, say, like a Samsung device. But they're all really nice. There is a bunch of different categories to choose from. I really like the abstract one. It's just really clean, and honestly, they have really, really nice designs. Not really seen much like this anywhere else. There's a whole lot to choose from and I also have a favorite section and in the all section it just has kind of new things out that people have recently posted uh, but you can go ahead and like them, save them, it asks you whether you want to set it as your actual home screen wallpaper, lock screen or both. So they're really high quality, can't really recommend them enough if you want like a minimalistic wallpaper app then that's definitely a way to go. Now what next is APK Extractor. So if you ever bought an app and, and sneakily you want to put it to another device or another account, say you want to download something on your friend's device so they can go ahead and try out an app that you recommend, you can easily go ahead in here and simply select the app of choice and it will build an APK. So all you do is you click on the app, say Allcast, builds an APK, puts it in your download folder, and then you can go ahead and share it with whoever you want. Now that is a very simple app, but it does come in handy. Up next is a really useful one if you get loads of calls, spam calls, or you're not sure whether to answer. This one is called Should I Answer? So when you open the app, you have a bunch of tabs. You have your recent calls, favorites, but it doesn't really tell you that much once you're in here. But primarily what this app does is it gives you a bunch of different options, whether you want to block calls, whether you want warnings about calls, and you can change the settings around, but it will use a database of numbers and it will actually tell you if it's like a spam caller or it's fake or fraud. And it will actually tell you that before you answer. So it's really good tip uh, if you're getting conned a lot or maybe you have like an older person in your family and you need to warn, warn them about something. 
then this is actually really useful for a lot of people, especially for your kids. You can actually go ahead and fully block all spam calls from their phone. So you want something to block calls for spam or numbers that aren't recognized, that's a great way to go. Up next is wisdom. So if you guys have any troubles at home or out and about, you want to talk about it with someone, maybe you want some advice about something, maybe you're stressing about work, this app is great. It has a full community of people who talk about different categories. You can go ahead and one-on-one -on -one message people who can help you out. And you can also go ahead and help other people out with different topics as well. So you have conversations, you have a home screen, which actually has a bunch of different topics. So you have like anxiety, relation advice, loneliness, but you also have things like heartbreak and also motivated. So if you can't get motivated, you can go in here and talk to a bunch of different people who are posting and maybe people have been through what you've been through and they'll post about it and you can go ahead and get some pretty good advice and overall it actually is pretty helpful and if any of you guys have any issues like that, maybe you don't want to talk about it in public or something like that, you can easily go ahead and download this app and just talk about something in private without anybody knowing. Now up next is a camera app. So this one's called 1998 Camera. It gives you this old school style effect. So it has a bunch of different filters on it. And you can go ahead and change how much of the filter actually applies to your photo. But it takes pretty nice shots. There's some really cool uh, filters. You have a lot of different options in terms of adding grain. You can change the light leak, the aspect ratio. And then you also have your tab with all the photos in it. So here's one of my flatmates. Really nice how it's got the whole color scheme going on. It gives it kind of a vintage vibe and I actually really like that. So if you're really into that vintage look and you want some sort of light flares and glare and the vintage colors, then this is a great app. So next up is Oval Money. So I know what you're thinking, like, you know, money apps, like it's kind of a scam, but Oval Money is genuinely really, really helpful. So I've been spending quite a lot of money recently and I thought, you know, I want to save some. I need some way of storing it somewhere. So this is like a savings account, links up with your bank account. And whenever you spend like tiny, tiny amounts of money that don't really matter, it will round it up and take the money, put it in a savings account. So if you spend like $2.99 on like, you know, a drink or something, it will take that one left over and put it into your bank account. So I've actually saved like 31 pounds. So it's like, it's like $45. And I've only been using it for a couple of weeks now. So pretty good. You can also set it up to automatically move funds into the savings account. Uh, but overall, it's pretty good. I'm saving like 10 pound a week, $15 a week on average. And that's actually pretty good. So I'm a student, I spend quite a lot. But even those times I just buy something small, it keeps a little bit of the change without me noticing and it puts it aside. So if you want something like that, oval money is probably the best bet. So the next step up on my list is Paletta. So this one's pretty cool if you actually have some photos, you want to extract the colors out of it and give it a cool effect and you can easily get this app. So say I have a photo of a fridge right here, you can actually go ahead and it gives you a color palette. You can choose which colors are displayed in the photo, which is actually pretty neat. So as you can see, it's all black and white. I can choose a few colors and it will pop into the photo. So you can easily activate them, deactivate them. There's also a smart brush as well and a healing brush. So you can easily colorize certain things in the photo. That's pretty cool. So if you want to create something really nice with a black and white background and you want your subject in color, this is probably the best way on your phone that you're going to do that. And last up on my list, I don't usually include games, but Harmony is amazing if you want something a little bit different with some music involved. So it's basically a symmetry game and it gives you symmetry lines and you have to mimic the lines. So for example, here and here, cause you have the symmetry lines and then you also have it there. It plays a sound each time you click and overall it gets a little bit more challenging each time, but it's actually really, really fun to play cause it makes you think about the symmetry of the photo and you're kind of like, wait a minute. Um, but it's actually really, really cool. So as you can see, it can be quite challenging, but overall it's actually really enjoyable to play. And it can be a little bit tricky at times. Sometimes I'm like, how does that work? Um, most of the time you can kind of work it out. Um, but they have some really good sound effects and it kind of plays a, plays a song when you choose the correct answer. So it can be a little bit fun. I'm not into games myself too much, but this one's actually pretty good. So that's my top 10 apps. Hope you kind of enjoyed the new style of video 
me showing it with a screen recording because overall it's a lot easier for me to sit here and talk about stuff. And also it's easier for you guys to see it because it's, it's on the screen without glare and things like that. And also my hands getting in the way. So tell me what you think. I'll probably go back to the old one next month if you guys don't like it. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching guys. Peace out. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see the world through ice-covered